Hey everyone, welcome back to Mastering Mayhem. Today we are going to unbox this guy and do a little overview because this will be one of the giveaway tool options in the drawing. Hello everyone, welcome back to Mastering Mayhem. We are going to unbox and demonstrate this M12 Fuel Recip Saw, the one-handed recip saw by Milwaukee. This tool kit will be included in the giveaway option, okay? So whoever wins, if y'all want this kit, It'll be available. I'll also have the links uh, in the description below in this video to this kit as far as the best deal I can find for it. But uh, everything that comes in this guy is the, of course, you get the Hacksaw Recip Saw. You get one uh, XC 4.0 amp battery. You get the M12 charger here. And then you get the contractor bag as well. Of course, this is a brushless tool. Uh, it's the Red Lithium XC 4.0 battery pack, fits M12 tools. Uh, the Red Link Plus Intelligence is that comes in it. Uh, Power State brushless motor, which is awesome. And it's faster cutting. It's up to six times longer tool life as well. It's doing all these comparisons. So I just want to go ahead and demonstrate it for you guys. So that way, whoever uh, does win the drawing, one out of the 10 drawings, uh, if you all like this, you can choose this as your option. And Milwaukee has the uh, five-year tool warranty and the three-year battery warranty. And if you're curious to know which kit this is, it is this one right here, the 2520-21XC. That's this kit here. So let's go ahead and open this up. I'll show you what's inside and then we'll do a fairly quick demo. I'm just going to cut a, a piece of wood, a 4x4 four four piece of wood that I used in the last demo. And then I'm going to cut uh, two metal pipes. Uh, one's a little thicker than the other. Just want to show the capability, how much battery life it uses. And then, uh, yeah, we will do a comparison to this rigid one-handed recip saw. This has the 6 amp hour battery. So, you know, four versus six is probably gonna be a difference, but at least that way you know how well this thing can, per can perform to maybe something that's a little more uh, solid and, and should be more capable. I mean, that's what I'm gonna try to find out. This is the Octane Rigid Recip Saw. I'll include this in the links as well in case somebody's more of a rigid fan than Milwaukee. So let's go ahead and open this up and we'll go from there. Looks like you get hundreds of solutions inside, M12 and M18, and you scan to get a chance to win. I haven't scanned this yet, so if you win this uh, tool and you want to scan for another opportunity to win, you could win this. Uh, what is that? One, two, three, four tool kit. Anyway, so just keep that in mind. I will include that. I, I, I didn't scan it myself, so it gives you an opportunity to potentially win even more. And thanks for stepping up to the best. Now they're getting you a 10-piece combo toolkit, one winner per month, drawn from each month's registered participant. Yeah, I'll let the winner register it. Hopefully you guys can do it without the receipt. That should be all that you need right there. Okay, so this is everything that comes in the bag, or this is everything that comes in the package. You got your contractor bag, you got your M12 battery charger, you have this beautiful battery that comes in it, the Red Lithium XC4.0 amp hour battery, right? So it gives you a little more juice. And again, that's what I love about Milwaukee, the bottom of their battery is a nice soft rubber, so it gives it more grip. But it does come with its own blade. It's a multi-material one, and I think, what is this, a three inch blade, four inch blade. So we're just gonna use the ones that I have in my pack to cut four by four and metal but that does come in the package. And then here you have a lock button and then a engage button or unlock button. Obviously this one doesn't have reverse or forward. It's just one direction that a recip saw will go. And then it does have a quick release um, collet. I don't know exactly what it's called on the recip saw, but it does have a quick release here. Let me show you, I got some blades. Got some blades ready here. Okay, so you just kind of, you twist it to the left here, open it all the way up, drop that guy in, release it, and then there you go. So quick, quick release, quick connect, 
and yeah I think this guy's long enough to be able to cut through the 4x4 but that's pretty much it brushless motor let's go ahead uh, I put the yeah I'm not wearing gloves but it's all right I'm being careful there's no battery in there so but anyway that's a quick release there the battery should be fully charged I did put the battery to be charged so yeah this guy is 3000 SPMs per minute right 3000 per minute that's what I'm looking at here okay so let's go ahead and put this up against the 18 volt rigid all right and the purpose of this video is to show folks that if you're not sure what you want to get that uh, you know you may not have to get an 18 volt if the uh, 12 volt can do just as well or better and it's lighter and we'll, we'll weigh them and show you the difference and uh, if it's just as capable why get an 18 volt when you can get a 12 volt and get the job done light works just fine so yeah very smooth in the hand it feels great all right we're gonna go ahead and test this you guys just so you can see exactly what it can do with wood and metal all right i'm going to be using the milwaukee sawzall pack i think it's uh i think it's a 10 pack of multi blades but anyway i'll have the same blades on uh both of these guys right so it'll be the same uh six inch uh, metal cutting blades and the same six inch let's see if i get yeah six inch uh wood cutting blades on both of them so uh let's go ahead and do this and see time wise how long it takes to cut through a solid four by four we'll start with the rigid and then we'll show the milwaukee but let's go ahead and cut this with the rigid we gotta get my gloves on and my goggles right here some sort of eye protection right all right let's see how this guy does table here so let's keep going so I'll cut right through no problem now let's try it with the Milwaukee the difference here is with the octane rigid you do have oscillating on and off that's the only thing that the Milwaukee doesn't have. Ready? Let's do it. done no problem seems about the same amount of time it took for both okay we're going to start with a 1 16th inch thick pipe here it's about 1 to 5 8 uh, in diameter but the thickness of the metal is about a 16th of an inch so we're going to start with rigid and then we'll go with milwaukee and they both have brand new blades so let's go ahead and do it see how long it takes quick there now let's start with the Milwaukee wow the Milwaukee seemed to me a little faster and to me it smells like the Milwaukee the oil is giving off an odor not burning or anything but like it smells like the oil as it's lubricating the uh, the shaft there but that's just something that stood out to me all right now we're going to do a thicker pipe it's about one eighth of an inch thick and about two and a quarter inches in diameter so let me switch this out it's this guy right here it's 
it's about an eighth of an inch thick and then the diameter is about two and a quarter so let's do this these are the these are the posts i use when i uh, install dog park fences the four foot high chain link fence they, they always want them in black in commercial areas as far as the ones i've done so let's go ahead and see how long it takes to cut through these All right, I may have forgotten to put my gloves on that last cut. Yeah, goggles and gloves. Always wear them. Obviously, we all forget sometimes. Anyway, all right, let's start with the rigid. See how this does, and then we'll look at the battery life and all that. See how the Milwaukee does. Well, that's uh, pretty much it for the testing. I cut these two metal pipes right here. Both of them cut just fine. And so, again, the difference between a 12 volt and an 18 volt is not uh, much of a difference, in my opinion, as far as what they're capable of doing. Um, the Milwaukee seemed just as fast to be able to cut through either one of these pipes and they both cut they both cut through this guy no problem solid 4x4 wood timing seems about the same but again this is much lighter in comparison i love the way it feels this is a i mean you don't have the guard hand protection here like the rigid does right where it protects your hand or protects your knuckles so that's a nice feature from rigid uh <clears throat> now let's see the battery life on each one uh, this one's still full battery after doing all that you got the six but this is a six amperage hour right so that didn't lose a single bar of energy, uh, of power let's see the milwaukee the milwaukee also still has four bars so there you go so <clears throat> that's to me for the type of work i do where i don't use these often you know around the house maybe some projects here and there for family friends or even through my uh small business on thumbtack this would be enough for me but if it's something that you need more power all the time you want the warranty from you know a lifetime warranty because this can break and whatnot then maybe go with a rigid in my opinion and my experience with this one time uh the power holds up great with the four amp hour battery and this guy's this guy's a beast it did whatever that 18 volt could do no problem uh, let's go ahead and just weigh the two so at least you see the difference between weight uh, all right so let's just go ahead and weigh these guys bare tool first so we see the difference let's go ahead and do it see what we got with the rigid it is four pounds ten ounces bare tool let's see what the milwaukee gives us bare tool all right bare tool milwaukee much smaller dimensions of course yeah this is a uh, more than a pound lighter it's three pounds 2.2 ounces bare tool now let's do the rigid with a six amp i don't have a four amp battery so we're gonna do it with the six amp and see what it weighs with the six amp here it is six pounds 6.8 ounces for the rigid with a six amp battery 
with the four amp hour let's see what this uh, Milwaukee weighs yeah so it's a two pounds lighter two plus pounds lighter than the ridges so uh, this is at four pounds 0.6 ounces so just over four pounds okay so I hope that kind of gave you an idea of what you're looking at with the Milwaukee M12 one-handed recip saw this guy to me is very comfortable easy to manage you got the second hand uh, area where I think you put your hands this is, seems like exactly where you would place your hand to put pressure down or force down onto the uh, item that you want to cut but yeah it sounds great here's a close-up and how it sounds to me it sounds a bit smoother as far as how it operates compared to the rigid the rigid just sounds more rough um, but this guy one-handed is two pounds lighter less fatigue right easier to to maneuver and to hold and more often than not this guy will probably be either the same price for what most would say is a better brand than rigid or even less expensive when you have deals going on them you get the, the kit everything for about the same price that the rigid would be just the bare tool or with a smaller battery and no charger no bag things like that and the greatest thing about this guy is it's going to be free for whoever wants this uh, if you're constantly needing to cut wood or metal or plastic even uh, or cut through wood with nails again just remember get yourself a set of blades I got a Milwaukee set 10 blades that cuts wood uh, wood with nails and metal so that's always good to have if you're going to get this tool here so let me know if you guys have any questions on this guy uh, again I'm not a super in-depth pro yet but uh, you know I am trying to share the information that I have concerning what kind of the average DIY or homeowner uh, would be using this for and if it's worth it so to me in my book this guy's uh, really really great I'll include all the links to the this guy and the rigid in case someone's interested in the rigid you guys let me know in the comments whatever it is that uh, is on your minds concerning the channel and of course I'm excited to see you guys tomorrow night in the live uh, giveaway for the first tool I'm really curious to see which tool goes out first and also I know I haven't done reviews on all of them so we'll see which one goes out and if it's one I haven't done a review on then so be it but uh, if it is then I still have until next week to try to get all the rest of them out um, as far as reviews and, and demonstrations so as always here at Mastering Mayhem I'm always looking for the best tools tech DIYs and deals to help make life a little easier and work more efficient and that's our first baseball cap attempt right here with the logo my wife is working on kind of you know working out some of the kinks but you guys were asked some of you guys were asking about you know me signing something or uh, you know some of the merch which I'll be happy to do so that's I can do that no problem um, I'm gonna try to wear a t-shirt tomorrow night too that's gonna be a heat press heat press t-shirt so uh, watch out for that as well I did want to mention see so again from a little bit of use you're gonna have a little scraping up and whatnot so again just I'll clean it up as much as I can make it look brand new get all the blemishes out from you know it was rubbing against the pipes and the wood there so little scuff marks here and there but other than that this thing is brand new one time used great tool to have and as always I always hope the best to you and yours